Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to continue on our journey of the fundamentals of analytical chemistry. Over the past several videos, we've looked at a number of various techniques, including the t-test, ANOVA, the multivariate data visualization approach, q-test, and now we're going to talk about the common calibration curve, or y equals mx plus b. And the focus of all of these videos is to demonstrate how we could take a lot of these methods we might be performing in Excel and transfer them to Python, and then some of the benefits that come when you have this ability. So here we're going to look at this equation here, and I'm going to show you how we can use this linear regress method from the scipy.stats module to replace the linest function in Excel to perform this very common task. So here we have our sample data where our x values are concentration, our y values represent the intensity, and I will use this simple data set to demonstrate the process, but definitely when you see this code, reapply it to your data compared to what you're getting in Excel so that you have a way to sort of validate that you're doing this correctly. So to begin, we're going to use this lend regress method. And if you look inside, you see that it takes X and Y. And so in this case, our X would be our X list, our Y would be our Y list. And when we run this method, you see that we output multiple parameters, including the slope, the intercept, and several others. And so we can actually store these model outputs into their own variables. So slope will be stored as M, the intercept will be stored as B, R value for the R value, P val for the P value, and then we'll have a standard error term that we will store as such. Now, all those parameters are stored in their respective values. If you look at M, you see that it's one. If you look at B, you see that we have that four value. And so now we have our model parameters that we can then begin to use to estimate the concentration from another sample. To demonstrate what we want to do, let's say we have a new Y value that equals, let's say we want a Y value that equals eight. And we know that we have our original equation Y equals MX plus B, but now we want to rearrange this equation so that we can solve for X. To do this, we will take Y minus B and then divide by M. And this becomes our new equation. And this equals our X value, the concentration we're trying to predict. And so if we actually use this, and instead of Y, we say new Y, B and M come from our estimated parameters. And we set this equal to X. Let's call this X predicted. And we look at X predicted. You see that X predicted when Y equals eight, the predicted concentration is four. If we look at Y equals 10, and we go here, our predicted concentration is six, and that's the output we get. And so now let's build a method that will estimate these parameters from some input values and give us this output, and then we'll pass this into a second method so that we can actually do this in a much more efficient way. So let's make a method called build calibration curve. And then the method is gonna take a parameter called X list and Y list. And simply we can pass this back in and instead of X and Y, we're just gonna update this to be X list and Y list. And then we want to return a dictionary. And now if we build our calibration curve and let's make sure we have the right parameters and we pass in X for X list and Y for Y list, you see that we now get this dictionary of outputs that we can use to build a second function that will actually solve for X. If we take advantage of this, the structure allows us to look at just M. So this dictionary has various keys that are consistent with the values that they represent. And let's now make a second function that will take this calibration curve parameters and actually solve for X. We'll call that function solve for X. And what we want to do is pass in a new Y value and we want to pass in our model parameter. So in this case, we'll just call it curve param. And so this will represent the M and B values in particular, at least in this case. So we're going to take curve params and we're going to set M equal to curve params M. And we will set B equal to curve params B because we have this dictionary structure and we can next use this 
the equation we wrote there, um, take our new y and return this equation here. So if we run solve for x, let's set new y equal to, let's get a different value. Let's set new y equal to 8.5 and curve params will set that equal to this equation. We'll just call it params and let's pass that in here. So you see that 8.5 for our intensity value gives us a predicted concentration of 4.5 and that seems correct with the parameters that we have input. So one nice thing with this is that we can extend this method to accept a list of parameters, so not just a single Y value. So in the next video, I'll demonstrate how we can update these sorts of methods to take in a scalar or single value or a list. If you want to be notified, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.